Ooh, what is up ladies and gentlemen welcome to another video and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to edit a video and more so just my workflow so I'm gonna take it slow and piece by piece and today I'm gonna to show you guys how I edit my vlogs and I'm gonna be using Sony Vegas Pro 13 and so I'm just gonna kind of go and show you guys the buttons, um, the controls, and the shortcuts and stuff like that. So hopefully by the end of this video, you can edit yourself a video like the one I'm about to make. So this upcoming video is a vlog, which I'll be posting maybe today or tomorrow, but I just want to show you guys a little behind the scenes, how to edit it, because you guys seem to like this type of stuff. So let's get right into it. Now, once you have Sony Vegas open, you want to click on the import media button. And I have a special folder for all the, uh, the clips I record on my camera and we're just gonna open that and import all the clips in and then um, all the music and stuff like that so that's probably the first thing you want to do when you open up Sony Vegas and just kind of get all the music in there and everything that you need so as you can see um, it's all done and easy and set so now what you're gonna do is just drag one of the clips into the, the timeline and it's gonna ask you if you want the settings from the video to transfer over to Sony Vegas. So what that means is basically if you recorded in 1080p 60 frames per second like I did, when you click yes, it's going to um, render at um, at this frame rate and size and dimension. So um, what I do is I just kind of cut out the pieces that I want to show in the vlog. So right here is kind of a cinematic shot of me just kind of getting my stuff together early in the morning and so I'd probably start right about as I come in so like that and uh, once you have um, this little um, line here which is basically the timeline um, marker I guess you could call it um, once you have it where you want it so I want it right here when I walk in you hit S on your keyboard and it will split the clip and then you just hit the delete key or you can just like right click and delete but I think hitting the delete key is a bit more faster and more efficient so um, I'm gonna turn off the volume real quick I don't want you know to uh, make this kind of weird so here's how it's gonna play out so um, a good rule of thumb um, when you're watching your clips is to go up here to the quality and instead of having it at best and full you want to bring it down to good or depending on how fast and efficient your computer is um, if you have a pretty slow computer go to draft and do half and then that way when you watch the clip it'll you know play really smoothly but if you have a much more decent computer you can go to good and put half and it'll look a little bit better in the preview screen so as you can see I'm doing my thing and so I'm just gonna uh, skim along and kind of see what this is all about I want to um, just get it as you can see my camera kind of zoomed in and out or tried to focus on me so I'm just gonna cut it out right there I just need just enough time to put in um, the beginning part of um, the vlog so for example um, if you click on media generators go to legacy text and you pull down the first one the default um, I usually just put the number of the vlog, so this would be um, vlog um, underscore zero five, I think. And so, um, if we move this to the side and we move our marker right here to where it's supposed to be, where the text is at, um, we're gonna want to put the text on top. So this is kind of like a cake, like you want to layer everything on top of each other. So the text would go on top. And my girlfriend is calling me. Be right back. I swear to God. So if you heard that, I got called to, you know, someone asked me a question about editing. Isn't that cool? Anyways, okay, so back to the video. Um, so, like, right here, I'd be putting um, the, the like, the number of the vlog, um, which part of the vlog it is, and stuff like that. So I actually started doing this at the very end of the video. So if you saw my recent vlog, I put thank you for watching the vlog number and then the people's music that I use, you know, because you have to give credit. So I'm just going to kind of just undo what I did and just leave it like that. But if you wanted to, you could, you know, just slice it up and then just kind of piece everything together. So anyways, this is still the part that I want to use, so I'm going to slice it again. I'm sorry, 
too many too much slicing right um, I'm gonna go back to this part I'm gonna delete this part and the jumpiness within the video is what makes it like I guess entertaining to watch so as you can see I come out here and this is the part that I want to use right here I'm gonna slice that maybe like right there you know what I'm gonna delete that this isn't really a clip I would use there's really nothing happening here it's a static clip so I just speed this up over here and then I think I say something so I'm gonna turn up the volume there might be a little bit of echo um, let's just power through Okay, so I said something, I don't think it really means anything, but I guess it's still kind of worth having in the vlog. So I'm just going to cut that part out and then um, cut to the part where I'm making my shake. So I'd probably do delete this part, that's not what I need. And then just kind of play through real quick, like that, wait, hang on. I think yeah I was struggling to like open the thing but there we go so I just delete this part and then just kind of span through this part like that and cut right there so like that would be it that would be the entire piece and then after that just kind of speed up through everything and then oops slice right there because I want to get this motion in where I grab it and put it back I grab my shaker start shaking it and I go on my merry way to the gym so this isn't really anything worth putting in the video so after that what we're left with is just um, these cinematic shots so I'm just going to turn off the volume for all these because there's no need uh, for this part obviously I say something and I want it to be heard so I'm just gonna leave it like that and now um, to kind of help um, kind of help us stitch the clips together I'm gonna bring down the music clip and then I'm just going to start playing the part that I want um, in the beginning of the video I'm gonna turn on the volume and then just kind of see I can kind of hear it and one of the things that I don't know if it's just me or my version of Sony Vegas um, it crashes a lot once I start editing heavy and by heavy I mean like once I get past a 10 minute mark my Sony Vegas starts to poop out on me so what I like to do is I file save as go to desktop save it as whatever it's gonna be so just vlog 5 and then just hit save and just periodically like maybe every 10 minutes just go over here click the save button so that way if it crashes you don't have to start from scratch because I really hate that stuff when it happens so so I'm just gonna put it from the beginning because it just kind of fades in and it fits perfectly so what I'm gonna do here is I want people to hear my voice but I don't want to just quickly cut out the music so it's gonna sound pretty choppy if I just um, delete this part so I'm not going to but I'm gonna do blah, 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 blah. What I'm going to do instead is lower the gain to where maybe a little bit less than half. So half and a little bit less or a little bit more, I guess you would say. So like a third of the box, just kind of to where you can hear the voice or my voice, but at the same time hear the music. I'm just going to come back up, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, and then boom. And I think I talk for a little bit right here. And so at this point, I would just... Um, slice the um the audio clip move it further or further away just kind of move it like that when um when we'll need it we'll go back we'll zoom back out and bring it when we need it but for right now we don't really need it and so you want to find the parts um, where you start talking or whatever as you can see right here i'm just kind of fixing my hat trying to make myself look presentable so i think i start talking right here so let's see Does that have to be up so early? yeah so like right here Slice, delete, 
and then let's just see if it sounds okay. Does that have to be up so early? I... Mm, a little bit less. I don't want that lip smack to be in there. There we go. So it just starts right off the back. So let's just kind of take a look at this. So right there. Since I have to be up so early. So if you caught that, it's beautiful. I like how it transitions. It just kind of switches. It's dynamic. It's active. I like the video itself, but I don't like how the music just like cuts off. So I'm just going to fade it. And instead of fading it just a little bit like that, um, I'm going to go all the way and just have it start fading from when it starts this clip. Since I have to be up so and then the clip starts, it's not so choppy. And you could even go a step further and start um, split the clip here and bring this audio back so that way you can start hearing um, the the shaker bottle when I'm shaking it. So let's watch it one more time and hopefully this little last edition that I did makes it fantastic. Since I have to be up so those things- Perfect, so if you saw what I did, I kind of had a last minute decision to lower the gain. At, like I said, I want the sound to be there, but I want the music to be heard fading out. So after that, I just talk and talk and talk. And then this is basically what I do over and over and over until I use up all my clips and the video is done. Um, so this is pretty much it. I don't want to make this video extremely long. Just kind of wanted to show you the basic stuff that you need to know in order to kind of do something with Sony Vegas. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Any suggestions or anything like that, leave them in the comments down below. Other than that, I'll be uploading another video soon, so stay tuned for that. And if you enjoyed the content that you've been seeing recently, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that way you're up to date with everything me. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.